Morning guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage and it's time for a good old fashioned cold start. Just left the gym, it is early in the morning. Ugh. tell you the sun's not even down up yet i'm already at home depot picking up shit look the contractor gig is cool it's fun and stuff but you're not gonna remote start for me oh the door's open ha ah, dummy you big dummy just trying to get it to remote start There she is. Quiet and elegant until you hit that sport button and then she's loud. All right. Oh. So it's early morning. It's about, it's 6.20 in the morning right now. The sun's just starting to come up. And I'm going to base. I got shit that I gotta tighten up today before uh, catching flights again. So we're gonna get that done. Make sure that all my contract shit is on point and above board and ready to go and then um yeah we'll keep it moving man it is nice with the temperature and stuff out here in the morning and just all in this man like all kind of like just luxurious and relaxed because it's got different modes right you got the chill mode the i call it the, the zaddy mode it's just like you know ladies you know what zaddy mode is it's just you know you just you got it you laid back you're just chilling in the lap of luxury right and then it can have like i call that shit angry tony mode man you put that shit in angry tony mode and this this thing whoo man anyways got a little bit of a ride ahead of me obviously as you guys can see the sun is just starting to come up and uh, I'm going to listen to some tunes and catch 15 and roll my ass up to Nellis. And I'll catch you when we get by the gate. The beautiful sunrise coming up over the Air Force Base. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I try to get here early enough when I come through here that I don't have to drive with that in my face the whole way. It's beautiful when it first starts coming up, but like in the next two minutes, it's gonna suck. And I mean suck. Beautiful right now though. Damn, that's beautiful. Anyways guys, you guys know the rules. We're about to enter the uh, installation and no filming going through the gate. So I'll catch you on the other side. All right guys, welcome on into Nellis Air Force Base. We're back. Taking you guys out my way today. Oh man. Oh, this is when it's busy out here though. There's, you know, there's, I mean, I wanna say there's never like crazy traffic, maybe getting in and out of the gate, but like this time in the morning when everybody's trying to get to their job or get to whatever, you know, station that they have to get to man but not bad so far not bad so far oh boy Got the 
37 wing right there. Boom. And we're gonna go straight here. A lot of rotaries out here when you get closer to, uh, there's multiple gates here, but I always go through the main gate just because you never know, like, during the morning some of these other gates are supposed to be open but i've come here and had to go back because they just don't have the gate open or the gate doesn't open till 8 and 8 a.m or 9 a.m or you know whatever their their uh their needs are as far as what they have staff wise so auto skill center might go by the hobby shop while we're here we'll see uh, we go straight Alrighty. All right, so we're going out the back side of post or base for you Air Force guys. Woo! Dudes be out here running in the morning and stuff too, trying to get that PT. Trying to get they trying to get they shit together. Oh. Everybody's like, yo, I seen you, your, 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 your office over by the exchange. It's like, nah, man. I'm out here in the hangars. I'm out here with the rotary aircraft, baby. Yeah. Look at them Blackhawks just chilling. Chilling. I'm getting into a no-film area, guys, so I got to put you guys down here for a minute till we get in. Mm -mm -mm. One of the things that I'm noticing is driving me a little nuts is, do you see this? The window is like delaminating. And I can imagine how much a Maserati window is going to cost. I'm hoping that's the only one that's doing that. Oh, nope. Looks like it's happening up here too. Wow. Maybe it's not made for the uh, Vegas heat. <laughs> Maybe she's not made for the Vegas heat, huh? Ugh. Yeah, she's starting to delaminate here too, on the window. You guys can see it. Okay, well, I guess this is a car I can enjoy for a little bit until something major breaks and then, you know. Yeah. Anyways. I am leaving out here. Oh. And I'm gonna go get me some breakfast at the exchange. Now that I'm done with my little bullshit out here at the office, I'm gonna roll out. Ugh. And yes, this is a, uh, I guess what you would call, the reason why I can't show you where I'm at right now is because this is like a, uh, a controlled area I'll show you my face that's about it at least I get outside this gate which I will be here in about two seconds oh. alrighty we are out we are out and popping and now we can go over to the exchange and get us some coffee alrighty well there you guys have it beautiful uh day out here it's perfect as far as the temperature and stuff man i'm really enjoying it this morning it's got to be like 60 something degrees uh this thing's also giving me errors please disconnect and reconnect my iphone if this thing is shut off and just bloop or the amp has got weak i'm noticing little quirks features and issues that this car has already i will say it's one of the best views of the strip from here though let me zoom in so you can see it. There's Las Vegas here from the range. Oh, man. I love it. Beautiful view. Yeah, this is a, a safe road to be on. There's another road out here you don't want to get caught on when they have the blocks out in the road. Um, if they're doing live fire and testing and stuff. It's always cool to be out here and just watch that stuff, man. Oh, damn. I got the camera looking at the dashboard. My bad. But that's a beautiful view of Vegas right there, let me tell you. 
Mm -mm -mm. That double smoked bacon sandwich, man. Mm. That caramel joint. Oh, man. Friends do not let friends drink Starbucks, though, by the way. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Damn car don't want to go in the gear. What the hell? Oh. She bucked and kicked on me here a little while ago. I wish I was filming when that happened. I don't know. We're going to get her checked out. Um, she's going to the Ferrari slash Maserati dealership. And I'm going to find out everything that's wrong. <laughs> With the Maserati. <coughs> but right now, I'm at half a tank. And uh, I'm going to fill this thing back up. I try to keep a full tank in my cars now. Because I always get roasted. Because I'll do videos and people will be like, yo, it's usually only my trucks. Your truck is always on E. Yes. It just happens to be that when I'm filming, I'm always on E. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But uh, we're going to go over here to the <coughs> exchange gas station. And um, get some gas. So, sorry for the dings. I know that drives some people nuts, but I'm not putting the seatbelt on for, you know, 400 feet on post. Stupid. Knowing I got to get my ass right up out of the car to get this gas. Wow, man. It's so... Price, gas price is so low. It's awesome. It's only $4.55 a gallon for regular. We got to put premium in this bitch, though. So, $5.02. So, for y'all on the East Coast that are like... Man, gas prices ain't that bad, TK. I'm, it's three three dollars in North Carolina with my discount. Respectfully, fuck y'all. <laughs> <Like, coughs> all right, let's get this done. Look at that. They even got it in Italian. That's pretty much it, guys. My morning is not really that exciting. I come out here. I go over paperwork. I check the what we call the blotter for new contracts. Uh, that's about it. That's about it. I leave the office. Might go by and say hi to a few people. Go to Starbucks, get my coffee. That's pretty much it, man. That's not anything crazy. Um, the next video, though, guys, we are going to take this thing out to uh, Ferrari slash Maserati and find out uh, everything that's wrong with it. And I'm, I mean everything, like the delaminating windows, you know, modules, whatever. I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion there's a reason why this car was only twenty something thousand dollars. And oh, I mean, I've checked the market too. I mean, you can buy one where this one only has twenty thousand miles and it's a repo. I actually got a good deal on it because it wasn't other people bidding. Um, usually, even if there's not people in person, there's somebody online that will bid your ass up anyway. The online person will bid, but nobody bid on this car. Um, I mean, the people bid on it, but nobody was bidding me up. So I got this car for steel. We'll talk about that in a future video. But, um, you know, retail on these cars right now, I mean, you can get one with like 50,000 plus miles for $29.99. Like, like 30 grand or less, you could get a Maserati Ghibli right now. Now, understand... You're going to pay Maserati prices when it breaks. And, you know, somebody like me, I already know, like, I can do most of my work on my BMW myself. Um, it's under warranty now. That's why our shop is doing it. But when it's not under warranty, that falls back on me. I can do my own shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know much about Maserati. I know it's an FCA car, but I'm pretty sure that the 3.0 liter V6 is different than Dodge. I don't, you know. I don't know, man. We're gonna we're gonna see. Um, we're about to find out just how expensive it is to own one of these son of a bitch in cars. So stay tuned for that video. It will be coming soon. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, man. Um, just a bonus. This is a bonus video. I'll probably publish these early in the morning uh, during the week, so you guys have that like bonus video. You can just see what's going on and. Um, yeah, there you have it. But anyways, I'm going to get off base. 
I'm going home now that I got all my stuff done this morning. You know, I come out here, I check my, I check my contracts, I do all that stuff, and then I keep it moving, man. There's really not much to do out here. Um, I have to get back to it. I do need to go to my other office, which is actually at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma. So you guys that have been asking for me to link up with Randy, barring that he's home and not taking care of family stuff, I will try to link up with him while I am there. And um, that's one route coming flying out. And then I will be doing a cross-country trip in the BMW, so stay tuned for that. I think you guys are going to enjoy that as well. But anyways... There you have it. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. And until next time, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys very soon on the next one.